Huh? What's that? It's two o'clock. Hey, that light. In the other room, I got burglars. Hey, Scrooge. Scrooge, come on in. Who is that? What are you doing in the other room? Come on in. Take a look. It's pretty nifty. Hey, what is this? What have you done to the room? It looks like Macy's window. Where'd you get all the holly and the mistletoe? And how'd you get it in here? You like it? Oh, for Pete's sake, a Christmas tree. Who are you? The ghost of Christmas present. Now, don't tell me you don't like the way I fix things up. I work pretty hard. Oh, the second ghost. Okay, take me wherever you want to go. But believe me, the next time I try the train. Come on, let's go. Now, what do you see? Oh, I see bright colored lights. People having a lot of fun. Kids on sleighs. See that building over there? The one with a big wreath on the front door? I got 2020. That's where Bob Cratchit lives. He works for me. Hey, look. There's Bob now. Yes, going into the house. Up all those stairs to the fifth floor. And he's got his little boy on his back. Tiny Tim. Yeah. Got polio last summer. Pretty sick little boy. I know. Bob said he'd need a lot of care if he was ever going to walk again. Let's take a peek. Hi. Hello, honey. You and Tim have a good time? Best. Didn't we, Tim? Yeah, Dad. We watched all the kids on the block on their sleds. Mom, will I ever be able to ride a sled? Of course, Tim. Won't he, dear? Sure thing, Roughneck. Next Christmas, you'll be out there doing belly whoppers with the rest of them. Dad, what's the matter? Your eyes are all wet. <laughs> Nothing, Tim. I just got some snow in them. Want some dinner, Tim? Oh, Mom, stew for Christmas. I'm sorry, Tim. Oh, that's okay, Mom. I like stew. Bob, will you please say grace? Can I say something first, Mom? Of course, Tim. What would you like to say? God bless us. Everyone. What's the matter, Scrooge, old boy? Got some snow in your eyes, too? Tell me something. Sure, if I can. What about Tiny Tim? Oh, can't say for sure. But if his old man makes enough money next year to get the right doctors, little Tim will get along just fine. But times are tough, aren't they, Scrooge? Yeah. Now the spirit of Christmas present took Scrooge to many places and showed him a lot of happiness and a lot of misery. And finally, back to his little room, and the spirit was gone. Oh, I don't know whether I can take much more of this. Then a new ghost drifted in. This was the worst yet. He was really done up for haunting. He was all dressed in black with one arm sticking out and pointing right at poor old Scrooge. This was the last one of the spirits. Scrooge's knees sounded like castanets on a reducing machine. Okay, okay, you don't have to tell me. You're the ghost of the Christmas that hasn't come yet. You I'm really scared of. The ghost took off of Scrooge right after him. The city disappeared and Scrooge found himself in the outskirts of town standing in the graveyard. The night was howling like it was mad. And as Scrooge looked down, he saw... Hey, what's this? What's this stone? The black spirit stood still and pointed, so Scrooge leaned down and pulled away the bushes and saw it was a tombstone. Well, there's a name here. Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, no, no. Look, not this. Believe me, I don't want this. I know I've done wrong, but I'm not kidding. I really know what Christmas means. It doesn't mean just today or tomorrow. It's every day, every day of your life. I swear I'll do better. Only take me away from this. Let me try. Let me try to make Christmas right for me and everybody else. Please don't let this happen. Give me another chance. Well, don't just stand there. Put your arm back in. You'll catch cold. Well, say something. Suddenly, Scrooge dropped to his knees and reached out for the spirit. But something happened. The spirit started to shrink. Then it collapsed. And when Scrooge looked up... What the... My bedpost. My own bedpost. I'm home. 
Oh, thank goodness. I lived the past and the present and the future, and now I'm home. Hallelujah. Spirits, wherever you are, believe me. From now on, things are going to be different. Oh, yeah. And thanks. Paper! Mine and paper! Hey, boy! Yeah? What day is this? It's Christmas! What's with you? Christmas? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, I haven't missed it. The spooks did it all in one night. Boy! Yeah? Oh, it's you, Mr. Scrooge. How many papers have you got? I don't know. Why? Well, here's five bucks. Throw them away and go have yourself a Merry Christmas. Gee, thanks, Mr. Scrooge. And a Merry Christmas to you. (laughs) Hey, boy, say that again. Thanks? No, 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 the other. You mean Merry Christmas? Yeah, that's it. Merry Christmas. Okay, okay, I'm coming. What's the matter with you? Can't you see the store's closed? Look, mister, this is... Eb. Ebenezer Scrooge. Merry Christmas, Barney. Huh? Hey, you been drinking? Not a drop. Well, what's the matter with you? Ain't you going to wish me a Merry Christmas? Wish? Oh, oh, sure, sure. Come on in. Uh, Wife's upstairs with her mother, but I got a bottle in the back. I think maybe you better have some. Something strong. Uh, Look, your grocery store's closed, but you could still sell me a turkey, couldn't you? Well, I don't know. You got a couple? They'll just go to waste. What do you want a turkey for? You've been eating at the automat every Christmas for the last seven years. Oh, it's not for me. But nevertheless, I have been invited to my nephew Fred's house for a Christmas dinner. Well, then who's the bird for? Bob Cratchit. You know, the young guy that works for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How much you gonna charge him? Here's 20 bucks. That ought to be enough for the bird. No, no, no. It ain't worth that much. You sure you ain't been into something? Well, if it's too much, give the rest to your kid and have him deliver the turkey to Cratchit's house. Here's the address, and don't tell Cratchit who sent the thing. Okay? Okay. Merry Christmas, Barney. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Well, old Scrooge went back to his rooms and took an out, took out an old blue suit out of the mothball. He shook it out, put a few creases in it, and went out into the street. The old boy was really with it. Everybody he passed, he greeted them with Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Scrooge went to church and gave a large donation, and Father McCarthy nearly forgot his sermon. And then Scrooge went out on the street again and down into the Bowery. Oh, God bless you, sir, and a Merry Christmas. Isn't it, though? He kept walking and having a great time. Later that afternoon, he arrived at his nephew's house. Well, what the... Merry Christmas, Fred. I've come to dinner. Oh, my gosh. Here, I brought you some presents. Oh, my gosh. Now, don't thank me. It's Christmas, remember? Oh, my gosh. Next morning, Scrooge was early at the office. If he could just catch Cratchit coming in late. And he did. Bob was a good 21 minutes late. Cratchit? Oh, no. You're 21 minutes late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Scrooge. I had a big evening last night. You did, huh? You know what I told you if I caught you fancy putting it in here late again. Okay, so I'm canned. You think you got it coming? Oh, I'm too tired to argue, Mr. Scrooge. Jobs are tough enough, and I hate to lose this one, but I'm just too tired. A raise would help, huh? That's the silliest question of the year. Then you got it. It's in that envelope. What? what? Yeah, and maybe after we see how the funds are, we can do something about Tiny Tim. No, I I don't get it. A a raise? You want to do something about Tim? I I don't get it. Sure you do, Bob. Haven't you heard? It's Christmas. Now, go on home, take the day off. Take the week off. Come back when you feel like it. Merry Christmas. Uh, Mr. Scrooge? Yeah? Merry Christmas. And Scrooge really did it. He was as good as his word, better even. He made it the merriest Christmas ever. And later, things got better, and he took care of tiny Tim. And sure enough, Tim was out on his sled the next Christmas, doing belly whoppers with the best of them. 
Every Christmas thereafter, all along the big street, it was said, if anyone knew how to make Christmas merry, old Ebenezer Scrooge was that one. And I hope that can really be said about all of us, just like Tiny Tim said. God bless us, everyone. That's right, Tim. God bless us, everyone. Helen? That was wonderful. Not quite the way Dickens wrote it, but it meant the same thing. Oh, you really like it, baby? Oh, I loved it. No reason in the world why old Scrooge couldn't have been living right here today. You've got the spirit, and that's what counts. How did you like it, Walt? Rick, I gotta hand it to you. It was really great. Uh, Lieutenant? Yeah, what is it, Otis? Uh, how'd I do in the play? You were magnificent, Sergeant. Y- you know... I'll bet if I studied for a couple of weeks, I'd get me a part on Broadway. To be or not to be? That's the question. Oh, no. Now, Walt, leave him alone. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, Monsieur Otis. Huh? Wouldst thou accompany me over to the punch bowl for a short flagon of nectar? Sure, I wouldst. See you later, Helen, Rick. Yeah. Come on, Barrymore. Let's see if the punch bowl fits your head. <laughs> oh, aren't they lovely? You want something to eat? Uh, wait a minute. What's the matter? Listen. They're out here by this window. Come on, let's go listen. Wasn't that wonderful, Rick? Oh, it sure was. Rick, sing something with them. Oh, no, honey. I don't want to loss at the end. Please, Rick. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, all right. I, I tell you what I'll do. Everybody usually sings Christmas songs about snow. I'm going to sing one about sunshine. It's called Melikalikimaka. Melikalikimaka? Well, it means Merry Christmas in Hawaiian. In Hawaiian? Sure. It's a brand new song. They love it over there, and we'll love it here. Meili Kalikimaka is the thing to say, and Haoli Maka Hiho. That's our Christmas greeting in a Vahine, and a Happy New Year, too. With the hope that Christmas may be green and bright The sun to shine by day and all the stars at night Meili Kalikimaka is a wise way To say Merry Christmas to you Merry Christmas to everybody. 